C. Lindelof videos, AP Calculus, evaluate the definite integral by the limit definition. This example that we're going to do right now, it's not especially difficult. It's extremely meticulous. It takes a lot of uh, patience and time. So what we're asked to do is to evaluate the definite integral from 1 to 4 of 4x four squared dx. What I'd like you to know is that reading this, tells you that what we're going to be doing is we're going to be looking at this. We're going to be looking at the function y is equal to 4x squared on the interval from 1 to 4. We Right up here, we have our Riemann definition. So here's our Riemann definition, and all we're going to do is kind of fill in the blanks here. We need our change of x up here, so our change of x is equal to the last value on the interval minus the first value. So it's 4 minus 1 is 3 over n, the number of subintervals that we're going to have. To calculate this c sub i up here, all we have to do is take the initial value plus i times the change in x, and that gives us this. The initial value is 1. i is i, and the change in x was 3 over n, so we get this. From here, we're going to just start filling this in a little bit. So this is all I'm doing. Remember, we had the function 4x squared, so here's 4x squared, and this is our x value in here. It's the c sub i value that we're going to substitute in. So we have that here, and we are supposed to multiply by our change in x, which is 3n. Just to clarify, what we have here is we have a height and a base, so we have an area. Yeah? So, okay, moving on. What I did here was this 4 right here is this one right here, but this is 1 plus 3i over n squared. So if you squared that out, right, if you expanded that, you'd get this inside value right here. So you can take a second to fill that value in. From here, the next thing I'm going to do is, I know some of the properties of sums, and we talked about them at length. So I'm going to take this 4 times this 3 is 12 over n, and I'm going to back it out to here. So here's my constant multiple right here, and I just backed it out to here. All right? And that leaves us with our 1 plus 6i over n plus 9i squared over n squared. Here, what I'm suggesting to you is that you consider going straight to your summation formulas. So when you go straight to your summation formulas, it might end up looking something like this, I think. So if you go to summation of a constant, it's c times n. Well, 1 times n is n. We know this 6 over n is this 6 over n right here. But we know that the summation formula for i is n times the quantity n plus 1 over 2. And hopefully you're well aware of those things. This 9 over n squared is this 9 over n squared right here. I just factored it out. And we know that the summation of i squared is this right here, isn't it? So that's where I'm getting all of this. This might be a really good time in the video for you to pause for a second to see, to see if you can do this algebra, knowing that this should be the outcome of your algebra here. So all I'm doing is I'm simplifying this. 6 over 2 is 3. 3 times 12 is 36. This n and this n cancel, leaving, leaving this. This n creates this one. So see if you can't do some of that math. So take a second and come back, and we'll, and we'll finish this together. Uh, from here, this is what I'm going to do. From here, I'm going to take this. I'm going to start assessing this as a limit. I'm going to say I'm taking the limit as n goes to infinity. Sorry. As n goes to infinity here of 12 plus, take this out. 36n over n plus 36 over n, yeah, plus 36n squared over n squared. Where do I go from here? Oh, plus I simplified some stuff here. I, I simplified some stuff here. Remember, I'm bringing all of this in, so I simplified this out here also. And I end up with... 50, and this is kind of inconsequential here, because 54 n over n squared, and you'll see why in just a second, plus 18 over n squared. And I'm going to take the limit of all of that as n goes to infinity. Well, before I do that, just some really quick algebra. n over n simplifies out, doesn't it? Uh, n squared over n squared simplifies out, doesn't it? So what is the so we're going to go ahead and take this limit. So we're going to take the limit, and the limit of twelve as n goes to infinity is twelve. The limit of thirty-six as n goes to infinity is thirty-six. 
The limit of 36 over infinity is zero, isn't it? The limit of 36 as n goes to zero, because there is no n value here to affect it, is 36 again, isn't it? The value of 54, well, look at this, this n here cancels one of those. So as n goes to infinity, this goes to zero. And as n goes to infinity, this goes to zero, right? Because you'd have 18 over a huge number, right? From here, we're going to count. We're going to get, we get 70, 72, 84. Is that right? I hope that math, that addition is correct. So this is what we have to say at the end. That the indefinite integral from 1 to 4 of 4x four dx is equal to the limit as all of, as n goes to infinity of all of that crap up there is equal to 84. So I hope this is helpful. It's, it's, this is a really worthwhile thing, and you will see it. Uh, your professors will ask you to demonstrate it. On the AP exam, I think what you're most likely to do is see it on multiple choice or ask to finish one. So I wish you the best of luck. If you have any questions or comments, let me know. And if you haven't already subscribed, please do. Thanks.